Rain is falling on areas already crippled by historic flooding. Flash floods submerged towns in the eastern part of the state, killing at least 28 people that we know of so far, and that includes four children. And recovery efforts are starting to ramp up with uh, residents clearing their homes of mud and debris, all of that water. Uh, over the weekend, uh, first responders also continued their search and rescue efforts. The death toll is expected to climb. I believe at last check it was 28 people. That's right. The flooding has displaced thousands as well with water washing away homes, roads, bridges, anything else in its path. Weather conditions set to improve this week, but there's still a chance for excessive rainfall. And to, to talk about that, we bring in Gerard now. Gerard, more rain? I'd say that my concern is yes, and all it takes is a little bit more to cause a lot more problems. We're talking about a very sensitive area. The ground is saturated, so another shower can cause more problems. Right. Look how much rain they've had in the last week, guys, all right? This is much of it happening over a span of only a couple of days, but over a foot in parts of Kentucky. Now, the state of Kentucky has just been inundated by the worst spots over here towards west, uh, eastern Kentucky and western West Virginia. So we still have flood watches in effect until 8 a.m. Eastern time here for that section. They will expire likely, but they may get reissued today. We do have one flash flood warning that just went off here right there on the border of West Virginia. Now that is what's going on now, but the next system is on the way. Here it is, and we're going to see clusters of thunderstorms that are actually going through right here in Chicago may develop a little bit later on tonight. 8 o'clock later tonight, we could see heavier thunderstorms and just a little bit more rain can cause problems. That is my concern right now. There's a level 2 out of 4 risk for these same areas once again that could see the flooding. So, uh, Adrian, Mitch, while we've already seen the ground well soaked, these people are just getting uh, things beginning to clean up. They don't want to have to worry about another event like this, but we have to keep our eyes out very carefully later on tonight. My hope is that most of the folks are out of its way already. They've evacuated those hardest hit areas. That's what I'm really hoping for. Here. Yeah, I'm sure that that's what uh, first responders mm -hmm. and officials are trying to get done. Thank you so much, Gerard. Now, sticking with Kentucky, our Robert Sherman arrived in eastern Kentucky. The Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.